All right, look at that. The Monteros back. It's one of those days where it doesn't. You're not sure if it's 8 a.m., 3 p.m., or whatever the time it is, and it's supposed to rain for the next 24 hours. Well, and since it's such a rainy day, the plan is we'll layer down some paint, try to finish up this guy today for the 770 subscriber special, which we like five away, six away. Maybe do a little bit of layering paint for doggy. Try to replace the cluster. So my cluster, as you can see, the, the fuel gauge wasn't really working and I had to put some tape in here, but it's fallen through. I did buy a, well, a soldering kit, but that's mostly for a heat temperature sensor on my other one. But what I want to do, I think, I think when you replace the cluster, this is where the mileage is stored. So I'm going to try to unscrew this and put it inside on the Montero because this one is at 123,000 miles. That's my original one. And that's over there now at 185. And so this should be a little bit better. So we'll see. Hopefully that's the correct one. Do some, we'll paint first so that this can start drying. We'll do this. And then if the time allows, try to do a camo wrap. Just cut out a few patterns and kind of lay it on the side and see, obviously these are not the colors that I want. I want flat black. This is close, but I want like a orange to red color shift and this is more like a green to gold. And then this green, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything. Maybe do these two and do like the Christmas color shift. A little better. So I got a sandbag, a couple dumbbells underneath, some plates. So I think they're settling nicely, but we're gonna do a Montero view in a little bit. I did cut out this Bentley all the way through yesterday, so that was pretty cool. It's gonna be one of the future video, but it's coming out great. But let's grab our guide and start doodling. All right, so as you can see, it's 186,000 miles. I'm not gonna start it, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the dash. Oh, the cluster, it's just two screws here and then a couple behind it, so I'm not gonna show that, it's pretty easy. I got enough clusters over here. So this is my original one. I swapped it onto the back. Slots just like, reminds me of when I used to do the computer stuff and slotting like extra RAM in, trying to play Diablo or something. And this one I bought by mistake, it's from Limited, so it's five speed and we got the XLS four speed, but let's pop it in here and see how it goes. Oh, and I got the new door panel, all black, black armrest, kind of matches all my gray seats and gray carpet better. The only thing I forgot is I forgot this at the junkyard, but this should be arriving today, actually, in the email I got from one of the Montero guys in the group, so should be all nice and neat. All right, moment of truth before I put the bezel back around it. I don't think I pushed it all the way in. All right, moment of truth, take two. Yep. All right. All right, so that's all the material I had. It's not too bad. I think that's about the right size pieces that I want, because if I'm gonna add flat black, we don't wanna have too much. Obviously it won't be red, but I don't mind this. Hardest part is not making the shapes too much like a penis. Somehow I just end up doodling that, but it's not bad. The first one goes on and it's kind of really weird, but then after that, it's actually pretty neat. Now, obviously I just did it kind of quickly. A couple spots, I need to get a, a heat gun to make it right, but for now, just as a mock-up of an idea, it's quite easy. Uh, I just want to kind of get my hands used to whatever shapes I want to cut and then figuring out the spacing too. So I think that kind of spacing right there roughly works. And then what I did, another idea I have is get some knifeless tape. Where's this thing? Right here. And so I laid it behind and the only one I have material plenty of is green. So we're gonna mess it up, uh, mess around with the green real quick for the Christmas themed truck. But let's try to cut it out. So this way now, it's all split. Let's try not to pull that off. All right, so that's not. Let me tighten it up and we'll see. So I laid a couple more down, but it looks kind of weird. 
I need to look at some more videos of how the multiple color are done, but not too bad. Good enough learning experience, so I think I'm gonna clean up for now. So much later, it's still raining, but look at this. I just kept on cutting stuff and mucking it up and whatnot. And I actually do not hate it, even with these two random colors. It's not awful, obviously. I didn't do the hood, I ran out, and I did not do a good job, especially by here. I was getting so kind of, not bored of it, but something like this, I'll definitely take my time to do it properly. But just as a pattern, because now I have a picture of it, and I can take it into the Photoshop and change the colors, and I'm gonna probably throw them at the end of the video so we can decide what color we want. But I'm leaning towards a color shift so something along the line of, see how like this one is green to yellow, but going from orange to red, because there's a lot of details that are, you know, we got the uh, orange, and we got the red, and so forth. So I think that'd be cool. And in the second color, I was thinking of doing flat black to kind of match the bed liner pattern, but I might also, I'm considering doing uh, like a dark gun metal or even the kind of a dark gray, but I think actually bed liner color would, would probably be alright because it will do like little patterns here, but it's not hard at all to do the patterns themselves. I don't like that one, it looks like the bowling pin, but other than that it's actually not too too bad at all. So it's pretty cool. Yep, alright, and I think I'm gonna go finish, finish up for here. Look at that Bitcoin cat, just gotta do the a little more colorful stuff right here and I think we're good for the day but let me know, know what you guys think about this color uh, or no, rather the pattern itself and what kind of colors we should go with and great success and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.